We move on. Wireless protocol is not sending values correctly. So we've looked at the accelerometer. Let's take a look at the bus between the, the microprocessor and the radio. So once the microprocessor gets the data, uh, is it sending it to the radio correctly? Is, is, is that transaction going, going on well? So we're going to go back. And we are going to uh, open a trace that captured some data. And as you see, we have uh, added some more lines. On the top here, we have the accelerometer SPI bus. And on the bottom, we've added four lines, which is the wireless SPI bus. We're going to go and add, just like we did with the other one, we're going to add an SPI bus that decodes uh, this particular set of wires. And let's go and zoom in there. And so this is uh, communication that's going on between the, the micro and the radio. Again, this is hex bytes. Uh, we have the pleasure of using uh, the Cypress PROC uh, chip. It has a protocol over SPI for that particular chip, and it's a custom protocol. So we have a uh, packet presenter definition file as well for, for that chip. Let's open that file. I'll show you what that looks like. It's far more complex, but yet spans less than two and a half pages of, of this text file. Uh, it defines uh, all of the commands uh, and all of the parameters for all of those commands. So what we see when we apply this particular trace is that these hex bytes that you see below translate into a much more human readable form of packet. Uh, these packets displayed on the bottom are typically more what engineers are used to thinking about in terms of um, usability of the system. So, so this is uh, this is much easier to pick out uh, the data from these packets that you need 